In North America right now, aviation contributes about 12% to CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. If we can do all electric, that means zero emissions come out of aircraft. ABC Airline could soon launch the world's very first all-electric passenger planes. Harbor Air says it's partnered with a Washington state engine maker to turn three dozen of its seaplanes into e-planes. Battery power isn't enough to fly from Vancouver to Toronto nonstop. But Vancouver to Victoria or to Nanaimo is definitely a possibility with today's batteries. And that's why now is the perfect time to do this. While electric vehicles steadily roll out on our roads, commercial electric flights haven't yet gotten off the ground. The biggest challenge for aviation has always been power to weight ratio of the propulsion system. You need a powerful enough motor that is light enough so that an aircraft can actually get the power it needs but be able to take off and fly commercially. You know, 30 minutes is probably about what current batteries can handle. Any longer than that, you just don't have the power to, to do it. It's why a Seattle area tech company says it has found the perfect match with BC-based Harbor Air, which runs relatively short commercial flights across the Pacific Northwest between hubs like Seattle, Vancouver and Victoria. We have very short stage lengths, um, half an hour stage lengths. And, uh, and single engine aircraft, which carry a, uh, you know, a fairly large load of, of passengers. So the amount of energy that's consumed to actually fly our flights puts us in a, in a, a unique uh, part of the market that we can exploit the technology that's currently available. Test flights will start as early as November, and passengers should be able to board the planes by 2021. That's pending all necessary approvals. Harbor Air says customers won't be paying any more for the greener flight. No fuel, uh, very reduced maintenance costs. You can see it in the automobile industry, how things have taken over. And I think you'll see the same thing with the aviation and aircraft. But experts insist it'll likely still take decades before all electric large planes cross oceans. In Vancouver, Isabel Regem, City News.